Alright, hey guys, with Abomination9 here, and we're back playing some more Pokemon trading card game online. Now, uh, I have like 18 packs, I think, at just out of nowhere. Like, I s sat here and grinded out the Gold League, four starring everyone, which, what I mean by that is if you come over here, go to single player trainer challenges. I four starred everyone in the Gold League. Which, when you do that, you get a booster for them, but uh, though I think I got like four boosters for beating Kimmy, which is the last person in the Gold League, which I don't know why that is. I guess, yeah, she's like, you've won one, I guess. Also, I think I, it gave me one booster for beating Kimmy from the, from the get-go because it got me into Platinum, so you get a booster for beating, uh, not beating, but getting a four-star on everyone. A booster for beating Kami for the first time, and then four boosters for four starring Kami, I guess. Also, I think at the same time I beat Kami, I realized that I also had these boosters done as well, so I just have 50 million. Uh, so let's see. I should be able to at least get like some good stuff here. So we have four of these Kangaskhan ones, so the Flashfire. Three just normal X and Y with Blastoise, Mega Blastoise. Three of the Breakthroughs. Two Furious Fists. Three Phantom Force. Two Primal Clash. And one Roaring Skies. Unfortunately, that's the one I want because I want that Mega Rayquaza. Though I don't technically have a Rayquaza to begin with. I guess we can start with... We'll start from the top and then or from the front and then go all the way to the back. So, these Kangaskhans. Will we get this Kangaskhan? Is this just like a normal version or is this an EX? Is it... A Mega? Does he have a Mega Evolution? So, we got a Ponyta, which we apparently already had. Scraggy. Binnacle. Sneasel. Pidgey. Fletch... Fletch, eh, Fletchinder, like Fletchinder, like, I can, why can't I say that? Fletchinder, uh, Magnetic Storm, Sligoo, Sligoo, I don't think I've seen him. He must be from X and Y, though, uh, I haven't, I never saw him in my game, I don't know, but I never beat X and Y. Scraggy, which I figured this was holographic, oh, it kinda is, but almost barely, just a little bit of the top and the side is holographic. So, uh, let's see if we got that Kangaskhan. Pokemon Fan Club, full card art. Uh, search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. That, that's an okay card, because you're pretty much getting two free uh, Pokemon. Also, this has moderate holographic sheen. You can see a little bit here. A little bit on the kid. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good card. I, I'm cool with that. And it can go in pretty much in any deck. You don't have to worry about the color. Oh, we got two rares this time. And is this uh, holographic? Oh, no. It's just counting that here. So we got a Lit Leo. Another Lit Leo, two different kinds, which I didn't have either of these. This one has Fire Mane. This one has Combustion. This is a really strong Lit Leo, Jesus. Has more health, has 10 more HP, and has an attack that does 60 damage, though obviously needs one more energy, but still. Esper, Caterpie, Pineco, uh, Lissandre, Pidgeotto. Love Disc, and as our first Super Mega Rare, Pidgeot, uh, Pidgeot, I mean, which I was hoping I would get because we just got a Pidgeotto. So this Pidgeot is holographic, kind of outer holographic. Clutch, which uh, the Pokemon in my Lightning normal theme deck has, I don't know, remember his name, but he's really good. Uh, Clutch does 40 damage and the Pokemon cannot retreat. And Strong Gust, 60 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Strong Gust attack does 60 more damage. So, um... Is it Deoxys? I think Deoxys has an attack like this. I think I might be saying his name wrong. I'm pretty sure that's a Deoxy. 
or whatever Deoxys has an attack like this, but it's called something else. And Fortress, though we did, we did have a Pineco, but we need. Does he just from Pineco? It evolves from Pineco. Oh, it just Pineco. I thought this was a three tier evolution. This is not holographic. I don't see any sheen anywhere. Because sometimes the sheen is almost not even visible. Like it'd only be like a little bit here, a little bit there. Like almost like what's even the point? So he has the ability Thorn Tempest. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's pretty good. And Iron Crash. This attack does 20 more damage for each normal in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. What? That's weird. Okay, so it's 20. You're getting a raw 20 plus the retreat, co retreat cost, which this one has 3 stars, which you rarely see. Or th uh, 3 energy. So this is barely going to do that much more. You can maybe get like... 80 damage out of this if you're fighting like another fortress. Okay, uh, Benary, a Skrelp, Stunky, a Flabebe, Scraggy, a Rapidash, a Flote. I want all these like little uh, fairy Pokemon. Trick Shovel, what does this do? Look at the top card of either player's deck. You may discard that card or return it to the top of the deck. Uh, Sentret. And... Is this hollow? Yeah, this is hollow, of course. That's where it goes. Meow Stick, which I think we got one of these before. I don't think we got this version, though. Ear Influence. Move as many damage counters on your opponent's Pokémon as you like to any of your opponent's other Pokémon in any way you like. Uh, that's pretty good if they were treated like a Pokemon with like a million damage on it. You just drag that over to uh, the active Pokemon and it kills it. Psychic for 3. It costs 3 to do this. For 60 plus, this attack does 10 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's that's a pretty good attack. I'm, I'm down with that. Did we get an Esper earlier? I think we got an Esper earlier. So, last one. This is the fourth one in this series, I think, yeah. I only won this time. Another Pineco, Stunky, that's a different version of Stunky. Flabebe, Flabebe, two different types of Flabebe there. Spiel, Shovel, Celio, or C, yeah, Celio. Blacksmith, this horn, I don't know if I've read before. Discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, cool. That's a pretty decent one, because I like to use tools. And, whoa, what is this? Oh, the evolution of that stupid barnacle Pokemon. Uh, Barbaracle. Jesus Christ, the names. Like, can't you think of anything better than a barnacle with arms on it? Like, come on now. I can think of better things than this. Rock Rush 30 times. Discard as many energy cards as you like from your hand. This attack does 30 damage times the number of energy cards you discarded. That's pretty decent. Uh, Boulder Crush for 3 can just do a straight 80. That's not bad. Pretty good Pokemon. 110. I would say he's stronger. I wouldn't say he's stronger than my Raichu in that theme deck, but he's pretty good because Raichu has an ability that costs 3 that does 80 as well. And he has a 2 move that does 30 plus has a chance to paralyze. And this is obviously 30 times however much you discard. Which you can you can make this hit harder than your Boulder Crush. Okay, now for the Blastoise ones, which I don't really care about. But I mean, if we can get an entire set like a Squirtle, a Wartortle, a Blastoise, and a Mega Blastoise, I'd be happy. Maybe we can get all in one pack. This pack will have all four. No, it has two rares, but it didn't even have any of the Blastoise family. Panseer, Phantom, Fletchling, uh, Pawn, Pawnard, Scatterbug, Shadow Circle, Super Potion, Kakuna, and a Hollow. Oh, snap! We got our Yveltal, which, Yveltal, whatever. I, I was fighting someone in, I think, um,. The last chick in the 
Gold League has a bunch of these. I think she's the one who uses this Pokemon. So yeah, now we have the Y Pokemon, which is the version of that series that I bought. And is this Hollow too? Okay, it's not Holograph. Oh yeah, it is Holograph. See what I'm talking about? It's like a couple lines here and there on the sides are holographic, and you can't even tell unless I'm like moving my mouse really rapidly. And what the heck? Do I have one of those? I don't have the Whirlpeed. This has 150 health. This is more health than freaking Eviltal. So random pack 20. Uh, flip two coins. The attack does 20 more damage for each head. So this can do like 60 damage if you wanted. For one energy. Poison Ring. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. That Pokemon can't retreat. So Jesus. It requires four. Yeah. But 70 damage plus poison plus can't retreat. Which to get rid of poison you need to retreat. Or I would assume there's a poison heal but I haven't seen one. Because poison damages you, damages you every in between turn. So when I end my turn, you you take damage. When you end your turn, you take damage. And then vice versa. I mean, it, it just keeps going on and on. That was a pretty good uh, hand. That final Pokemon was pretty good. And we got the Y Legendary. I should probably just be, do uh, be doing this, so you can actually have the whole tearing effect. Uh, Rhinehorn, Bidoof, Spritzy, Shelder, Slugma, Whirlpeed. Okay, so now we have this version, now we need that guy, so we can have the entire evolution. Kakuna, Professor, uh, I don't know. Scamore, like I don't know how to pronounce his name. Great Ball and Blastoise. Oh, Wigglytuff. We don't even have Jigglytuff though. 100 HP, which they changed these to Fairy. Balloon Barrage, 20 times. This attack does 20 times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon, which is pretty good because you want to eventually get up to three. So, just activating this, you're going to do 20 because you need one energy to even use it. And if you're end game with three, you would have at least 80 damage off of that. You probably keep adding just so you can have like a really strong, strong attack because it's pretty much infinite as long as you have mana. I mean, mana, energy. Double edge, 90. This Pokemon does 10 damage to itself, which means it's not really worth it because you can just use Balloon Barrage at that point and get the same effect. Doing 10 damage to yourself might as well make that attack only do 80 damage. Oh, I did. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Come on, give me that Blastoise, even though I don't even have. Oh, and now uh, I got the entire set, so I can actually get this guy up to that card. Cool. Uh, Reinhardt, Scatterbug, Voltorb, uh, Venipede, Sprit Z, Dunsparce, Shadow Circle. Each Pokemon that has any dark energy attached to it, both yours and opponents, has no weaknesses. That's pretty good. A uh, Flip Chinder again. Girder. Watch this be, um, this be the evolution of this guy. Oh no, it's a, a Molga EX. Woo! I don't really, I'm not that excited. Uh, Energy Glide, it has 110. Like, this Pokemon's, like, so small. And you would think he's, like, so weak. I would assume, like, just a regular Molga is pretty weak. But this one's 110 HP. Uh, with Energy Glide, which is search your deck for a Lightning Energy card. And attach it to this Pokemon. Shuffle, shuffle your deck afterwards. If you attach energy in this way, switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon, which is, that's an eh move. But killing an EX does give your opponent two prizes, so you don't really want to do that. I guess you would, well, he has no retreat cost. So, I guess either way, like, this would be the better thing to add, just add mana to it. If you're going to retreat anyways, just add another mana, I mean energy. Electron Crush, 60 plus, costs 3. You may discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 30 more damage. So this is a 90 damage attack. And you're pretty much gain gaining uh, energy with this. So that's pretty good, but he's weak to his own kind. He's weak to Lightning. I think that's This is pretty good. This might go on there. Is this like the best card I've gotten so far? Well, we got the, the uh, Yveltal. 
So I'll probably throw him on the thumbnail as well. So I need to remember we got him and Amolga. They're runner-ups for putting on the thumbnail for this video. Already 15 minutes in, jeez. So Mega Mew, will we get a Mega Mew AX? If that even exists. Just Mega Mew, maybe. Uh, Starly, Rots, uh, Elgium, Chespin, Paris, uh, Flote, Parallel City, which the thing is upside down, both sides. Uh, choose which way this card faces before you play it. Any damage done by attacks from this uh, players, those types of Pokemon, is reduced by 20. And choose which way this card, blah, 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 this player can't have more than three benched Pokemon. Okay. Go Goat, cool. I kind of wanted one of these. He has 120 health overrun. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. That's okay. Heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. That's a good attack. Three, like, all the, like, the cruddy 90 damage attacks that we've seen, and this has... A heal off of it, heal 30 and do 90 for just 3 G's. And we have a ticket here that says, uh... I don't, I don't know, is that backwards or... It looks like it says Nyano Hichi. Something like that. Flip a coin, if head, search your deck for a card, shuffle your deck, then put the card on top of it. And... Oh, snap, my second Xerneas. Guess who's making it? I guess we, we've got so many fairies, right? So I can have a fairy deck now, I think. It's actually lucrative for me to do that. Plus, I have two of these. Though, the Rainbow Force, I would probably want more than just fairies. Because I think it does... This attack does 30 more damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench. So that's pretty good. So now I know that in Breakthrough, that's where you get those. I guess we know where we get the Yveltal as well. I know I keep saying his name where Oh, we got two this time. Uh, Axel uh, Piplup. Haven't seen him in a while. Hippopotat Hippopotas. Uh, Remoraid. Wubat. Super Rod. Paladin. Pillow Swine. First off, we got... Noivern, which is an evolution of Nolbat. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Also, this is semi-holographic outer. Uh, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw a number of cards equal to the number of cards in your opponent's hand. That's okay. That's that's pretty good when you only have like a, a single card or something. Your opponent has like an entire hand. Because you can pretty much have infinite cards in your hand, I think, in this game. So if they had just been drawing the whole time and you only have one, then you just draw on like a million cards. Three different types of energy for 120 damage. Discard any and energy card attached to the Pokemon. So you can do 120 damage, but you have to discard an energy. That's not too bad. And, please be Mega Mew. Oh, it's Noctile. I don't think we even got a Hoot Hoot. High Flight, 20 times. Each player reveals his or her hand. This attack does 20 damage times the number of item cards revealed. Eh? Speed Dive, 70 for 3, not worth it. It's weird that this is, like, the last card. Since it only has 90 health and a 3 costing 70 damage. Well, I guess if you have a deck with nothing but double, double energies, that kind of counts. You can pretty much get to this real quick. Come on, give me that Mega Mew. Say another axe. Mistrevious. That's cool. Haunt. Put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. See, I don't know, understand what the whole damage counter is. Any kind of damage counters? And isn't that just 20 damage? Why not just say this does 20 damage? Though I guess this breaks resistances and blocks or whatever. Because putting counters doesn't really count as you doing damage. So I guess that's what that means. It's You're doing 20 damage no matter what that Pokemon has against you, whether it has like an item that negates damage or resistances, etc. Uh, Rufflet, Peck, 
Magnemite, which we have two of these. Fennekin, which is cool because I like Fennekin. I like the mid evolution better. I, I don't know. I guess Fennekin and the mid evolution are all right. Braxin, I think. I, I'm not. I think that's his name. Uh, I'm not fond of the final evolution. Like I would just leave it as Braxin, though. Obviously, in Y, yeah, I have Y. I have the final evolution, which I thought was a letdown from what Braxton looked like. Plus, in Pokemon Tournament, Jesus Christ, is Braxton cute as crud? Uh, Glalie Spirit Link, Floatstone, another ticket, another Magnemite, and Mega Mew. Mewtwo EX! Oh my god, might as well be the same thing. The Mewtwo EX. Okay, this is going on the thumbnail. So I think Mewtwo EX and the Emolga will be, I think I can have on there. Maybe we'll throw in Yvetzel and um, Xerneas or whatever the heck the deer's name is. I'll have them like maybe smaller, but obviously Mewtwo needs to be on the front page. And then we can have Emolga. Emolga gets a free shot in, I guess. Uh, Shatter shot 30 times. Only cost one psychic. This attack does 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon, which you th you assume you'd be building up to three, depending on what this does. So this is pretty much 90 damage. So which all damage counters on this Pokemon with those on your opponent's active Pokemon? Whoa! What if they don't have any damage? Does that mean you're just swapping, like, free health? Like you're pretty much just healing yourself if you haven't hurt them? That's crazy. 170 health is a lot, too. Though, of course, it's an EX, so if they do somehow beat this, they're getting two cards. Wow. I can't believe I got a freaking Mewtwo EX. Though, I don't know how rare these things are. Right, so next, the Mega Lucario set. Maybe we'll actually get a Mega Lucario here. We got two this time. Oh, this has these in it. Okay, cool. And I got the, the these two. Maybe. Oh my God! What if like the third evolution is in there? Is one of these two cards? Poliwag, uh, Slackhoff, Trepinch, Gothita, Gothita, Scoropi, Mountain Ring, Hipmontop, Gotharita. Okay, Aurorus. I don't think I have one of these yet. I'm gonna have a Amura. Ice Shield and Icy Wind. Any damage done by an opponent's attack to each of your water Pokemon that has a water energy attached to it is reduced by 20. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. So 70 damage and puts them to sleep, but cost 4. Also, this is holographic ish. I wish they would work more on the holographic in this game because the holographic is a bit eh. Come on, give me the third evolution. A Golurk, which I don't even have the first version. Maybe I'll get him, though. In the next pack. Wreck for three. He's a really, like, you have to build this guy up. If there's a, any stadium card in play, this attack does 60 more damage. Discard that stadium card. Whoa. So 120, but you're losing your stadium. And a four for 100. <laughs> He's so expensive. Is there a third evolution? Or is it that's it? It stops there. Cause I'm not too sure about these these versions. Or that Pokemon specifically. Oh cool, I got Pancham. It's pretty cute. Oh we got two of them. This one's holographic too. Uh Pancham. Plusle, which I'm pretty sure Plusle is like ridiculous. Discard a basic energy card from your hand if you do draw two cards, which is okay. I think this is good, or maybe it was a different one. Flip a coin of heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So you have 30 damage and a paralyze on him. Clefairy, so your opponent's next turn, any damage done by attacks from the defending Pokemon is reduced by 10. Oh, wait, why, did I, why am I reading this off? Um, Machop, Slackoth, a Tyrant, which evolves. What the heck? Restored. Put this card onto your bench only when the effect, with the effect of Jaw Fossil. So you can't even use this Pokemon unless you have that. Tool Retriever. Uh, I'm assuming you get a tool as the discard or from your deck. Choose up to two Pokemon tool cards attached to your Pokemon and put them into your hand. Oh, okay. 
I guess that's just in case your Pokemon's gonna die, you can take them off. Which, the only Pokemon I have that can even hold to is that, uh, Tyranna, Tyranitor, or whatever, EX, the Destroyer King, uh, Karina, another Pancham, which this one has bad influence evolution. If you have any dark Pokemon on your bench, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon, put it onto this Pokemon. Wait, what? Search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon. Oh, okay. And put it into this po Put it. Okay, I, I got it. And confront, which is 30 for 3, which is... Jeez. You pretty much want to use bad influence and not confront, because confront takes too long to get just 30 damage. Come on, some good. Slack King, which is kind of okay. I, though we didn't get a Vigoroth, so we can't even use this. But 150 health has... Uh, Inner Holographic. Amnesia for 3. 50 damage. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attacks. That Pokemon can't use that attack during your opponent's next turn. Which I've had that done to me a lot. But just not at that amount of damage. And 4 ability. Knuckle Sandwich. 120 damage. But you have to discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. So you can't use it over and over again. Unless you're constantly drawing uh, energy. So we got 3 of these to open. So we're down to five. I don't think there's one after him. Yeah, we're down to five. Hopefully we get a Mega Mega Gengar out of this. Okay, Swirlix, Joltik, Muna, Carablast, uh, Dino. Manectric Spirit Link, Zero Sick, Shauna, Zubats, Holographic, and Mega Gengar. No, but it's a Talon Flame with 130, which I think I have. I have all the evolutions for this, so I can use him. Aerobatics for 30 damage and only one cost. That's pretty good. Flip two coins. Attack does 30 more damage for each head, so this can do 90 damage if you're lucky. That's really good. And Jet Shoot for 120 only costs 3. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is increased by 40. Okay, so this is like a risky move. You're doing 120, but you're opening yourself up to take a lot of damage next time. So that's a pretty good card, I think. Nothing amazing, not like Mewtwo or Emolga. Okay, Helio Tile. Heli yeah, Helio Tile. Uh Pumpkabo Pumpkaboo. He seems pretty cool. I like my ghost Pokemon. Or, or at least spooky Pokemon. Uh Gligar, Dino, Bronzor, a Cleef Key, a Clef Key, Golbat, Lepard, though I don't think I have a Purloin. Krabby and Mega Mewtwo. I mean Mega Gengar. No, but it's a Venomoth. 90 health? Jesus, it's so weak. Maybe it actually has some good stuff. Dizzying win. Whenever your opponent plays a trainer card from his or her hand during his or her next turn, your opponent flips a coin. If Tails, this card has no effect. Your opponent still discards that card. Oh, if Tails, that card has no effect. Your opponent still discards that card, right? Your opponent's active Pokemon is now Confused and Poison, so for 3 you do 50 damage and Confusion and Poison, which is pretty decent, but the damage is a bit low and its HP is pretty low. Hopefully we can get that Mega Gengar, or maybe just a Gengar in general, or something good. I don't know what kind of stuff you can get out of this pack. Fletchling, uh, Pumpkaboo, Litleo, Frillish. Perloin, so we can use this now, or we can evolve it. Uh, Lissandri's Trump card. What does this do? Each player shuffles all cards in his or her discard pile into his or her deck. Except for Lissandri's Trump card. Oh, that's pretty good. Get all your cards back, start the game over again, pretty much. Except for any uh, cards you've lost, I guess, from... Why can't I think of the word? Except for the bonus cards, your winning cards, whatever. 
Uh, Wobbuffet. Oh, a Wobbuffet. That might be useful. He, might, he probably has some pretty good stuff. Bide Barricade. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, each Pokemon to play in each player's hand and in each player's discard pile has no abilities. Yeah. That's a pretty decent one. Again, a holographic Zubat and Mega Gengar. Oh, snap. It's a Magnetric EX. So we got another EX at least. With 170 health, this attack... Okay, it's overrun, 20. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's pretty good, so 20 and another 20 hitting through. Assault Laser, I think that does damage to tools. Uh, 60 plus, if your opponent's active Pokemon has a Pokemon tool card attached to it, uh, this attack does 60 more damage. So yeah, this is 120 damage if they have a tool. Which, this is a pretty good card. It's 170 health, which is a lot. And it only requires two energy to use. Because its second attack only requires two energy. That's a pretty good card. I mean, still no Mewtwo, but it's pretty good. No, we didn't get Mega Gengar, though. Hopefully we can get uh, Groudon in this pack. This is Primal Clash series. We're almost done. Only three more to go. This in including in that three. Got only one this time. Spinda. Shroomish. Barboach, Sveal, Sveal, two different kinds of Sveals, a uh, Guardivar slash Sir Knight, depending on what name you want to go by, a uh, Spirit Link, Brovile, Kyogre's Spirit Link, Hippopotas, hopefully this is Kyogre then if they're giving me his Spirit Link. Oh snap! Right off the bat, gonna throw that in there on the thumbnail. Groudon EX 180 HP Rip Claw for its first move flip a coin if heads discard and energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon that's okay it's only 30 damage but for four you can do 130 damage with massive rend Jesus Christ I mean again if there's if they somehow kill this Pokemon it's gonna give them two uh, prize cards but still I mean, 130 damage if you if you're building him up in your bench and then you put him out there geez it costs four though to get him out of there my god I'm just super lucky freaking Groudon EX, Amoba EX, Mewtwo EX maybe we can get another Groudon or can we get Kyogre in this or is there like a specific pack that Kyogre comes in core fish there at the front Oh, we got a horsey. Corfish, Zigzagoon, a Drillbur, Skitty, Tangler, Marstomp, a Masquerade, a Special Energy, Shield Energy. Horsey, I guess we can read this Shield Energy. This card can only be attached to sh Shield Pokemon, I guess. This card provides Shield Energy only while this card is attached to a Shield Pokemon. Any damage done to the shield Pokemon this card is attached to by an opponent's attack is reduced by 10. And hopefully we get another Groudon EX slash who's on... I guess Groudon was on the cover, so we've gotten Groudon. Unless there's a different variant of Groudon. Uh, I, I don't know who to expect, so hopefully someone good. Oh, Beedrill. I'm cool with that, though. Do I, Yeah, I have a Caterpie and I have a Cocoon. A Kakuna. So B drill is perfectly fine. 120 HP, allergic shock. During your next turn, if the defending Pokemon is damaged by an attack, it is knocked out. Wow. So if you can just wait until your next turn, well you pretty much got him, but I'm assuming his second attack can't has a chance to not hit as I'm staring at it. Twin needle, 50 times. Flip two coins, attack does 50 damage times the number of heads. So this has a chance to do absolutely no damage, or 50 damage, or 100 damage. So it's a pretty good card. I mean, I like B drill. I'm a fan of Beedrill, and I can actually use it, so if I make a grass slash bug uh, deck, I'd probably put him in there. And last but not least, let's see if we can get that Mega Rayquaza. Get a full card art not to. Okay, Shuppet, not to. Meowth, Whirlpool, Pikachu. A double dragon energy, a dust ox, Fletch Tinder, Fletch Tinder, Bogun, and let the heart of the cards be with me. Hopefully, this is a Mega Rayquaza. 
Come on, Rick Reza. Oh! Zapdos? That might as well be the same. Well, it's not the same thing, but it's pretty good. That's a pretty good card to get. Out of anything that could have been, a Zapdos is pretty good, since I can just play him without having to worry about evolution. A Drill Peck, 20. Though I, I've seen this version before, and this attack isn't too great because, as you can see here, it does 120 damage. Yeah, it only costs 3. But this attack does 40 damage to one of your bench Pokemon. 40 damage is a lot of damage. I think there's a Pokemon in this series that you can combine to stop that. Like he shields your Pokemon. But I don't know who it is. It might be a, a Wobbuffet, but I don't think it is. A Mr. Mime. I, yeah, I think that's who it is. Mr. Mime. I don't have a Mr. Mime, though, I don't think. So if you combine Zapdos with Mr. Mime, you pretty much... He's devastating, because you're not having to worry about doing 40 damage to your bench, as long as Mr. Mime's on your bench. So I think maybe I'll do, throw Zapdos on there. So Zapdos, uh, Groudon, Mewtwo, Emolga, Xerus, Xeros, I don't remember his name, and... Uh, Yvettel. We got some pretty good cards there. I can actually build the deck now, I think. So, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. That was me opening up all those packs, obviously. Uh, tune into the next episode, which will probably be tomorrow. Maybe I'll sit here and grind for another 12 hours getting all these packs because I think that's about how long it takes to win a league. Because I would say in the Gold League, to get 4 stars per character is about an hour of playtime. And there's 12 people to beat, so that's about 12 hours. So I'd have to assume the same thing for the Platinum League. Because I'm, sure, I'm assuming that, I'm pretty sure there's 12 people down here. And uh, again, that's probably going to be another hour each. So yeah, there'll probably be another day before I actually show off any more uh, openings but yeah guys uh, thanks for watching tune into the next episode like subscribe comment you know what to do see ya